Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be ranking the Star Wars movies on a tier list. Now I got them in order here, starting off with episode 1, The Phantom Menace. So, I don't know how I feel about this one. It is one from my childhood, but it is not the best movie, I'm going to be honest. Now, it does introduce like Anakin, Kugan Jin, and uh, a lot of great characters that end up, you know, <laughs> passing away in the film. So, Kugan Jin, if he had survived, would have been amazing, but... Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of dull moments in the movie, and it's kind of slow at points, but it started the franchise, I guess, from the beginning, so C tier. <laughs> Next, we got episode two. <laughs> Wasn't that good either, but I think it's better in episode one. Uh, there's a bit more action there. Seeing an adult, uh, Anakin was really cool, and uh, yeah, it definitely improved on episode one, but it's not the best Star Wars movie out there, so yeah, I want to put that in the C tier. And next we got episode three. Now this one, um, I think is the best of the prequels. It could even be S tier. Like it is, it's intense. Obi Wan and uh, Anakin's fight at the end is something I'll never forget. And I remember seeing that in theaters as a young lad. And wow, it was it was immense. So I like it. I'm S tier or A tier. I might. I'll put in the S tier. You know what? Nostalgia. It's a good movie, and um, it's better than the other two. So contrasting that, it's it's good. <laughs> um, might not be agreeable. Some people might not like that, but I'll put it in the S tier. Next, we got Solo, which I love. Uh, Donald Glover, who played Lando Calrissian in this movie, but it's very forgettable of a movie, and I don't think it really needed to be made. Uh, so I'm just going to put that in the C tier as well. It's, yeah, kind of a weak movie in comparison to some of the other ones out there. But it did have some nice moments in it. And um, it was somewhat enjoyable. But I think it could have been better. Definitely. Maybe. Mm, I'll put it there. Leave it C tier. Next we got Rogue One. This is another amazing Star Wars movie. And uh, I honestly think, like, between this and Solo, this one is amazing. It could go S tier. It could you know what, I'll put it in S tier. Rogue One was fantastic, and I think it has one of the best scenes in all of Star Wars in it, honestly, with that ending scene with Darth Vader. So, yeah, Rogue One, very great movie, and uh, it was set up right before Episode 4. Now, these movies, it's hard, because if you were to watch them for the first time today, you would think they're complete garbage. Uh, but for a product of its time, it was amazing, and I'm going to try and be unbiased with the... Uh, just some of the other movies we've been blessed with, but I'm going to put this one in the A tier, episode four. Um, it started everything off, so without it, there'd be no Star Wars. So I think it deserves its place up in the higher A tier. Um, Empire Strikes Back, also another great movie. I think it's better in episode four. Um, I think, yeah, in terms of they're all A tier because they were the classics, in my opinion. Um, but I think episode six was the best because it had the most action and started off we were worried, you know, what's going to happen. And then it leads off, in, or it ends off with Darth Vader becoming a good guy. So I think it was a pretty good movie. Um, but again, as I said, if you were watching it for the very first time today, you'd probably think it's a little bit outdated with how it looks. But I think it's a solid movie overall. Next, we got episode seven. And uh, I liked where they were going with this movie. But I think they kind of, with three different directors, it didn't have a very cohesive story. So um this one might be the best of them all <laughs> it's hard to say like i like the the direction they were going with it having like if they would have let finn be a jedi alongside ray i think that would have been perfect but they set his character up to be something big and then coming into return or uh geez the last jedi i'm gonna put that in this I don't know, there is some good points to The Last Jedi, but I think they kind of made Luke's character really weird, and uh, they could have went up very, very different way with this movie. So I'm going to put that one in the F tier. Um, yeah, it... <laughs> if you've seen both of these movies, like, they don't seem connected whatsoever. So, yeah, F tier for The Last Jedi. But then I think the Skywalker saga... Uh, it's hard to say if 7 or 8 is better. Maybe I'll put this one better, because it's... Like, it was exciting seeing it, and, like, there were some moments where I was like, whoa, like, on the edge of my seat, I thought Chewbacca was going to die in the movie, so, like, there was a lot of moments where I was surprised as a Star Wars fan, so I think it was it was good uh, in certain ways, but again, like, it was just sloppy bouncing between all three of these movies, and they could have done a much better job with it, so I'll be generous and put it in the B tier. Um, I could maybe even, like, 
yeah, maybe I'll put episode two in B tier. I think it's a little bit better than. Yeah, it's really hard to rank these. Um, putting episode three in S tier, like I know that's going to upset some people, but Rogue One, I don't know. A lot of fan people seem to like it a lot in the classics and the A tier. So there's my tier list of the Star Wars movies. I could probably do this again and have a couple different positions. So don't grill me too hard in the comments. Let me know though where you'd rank these in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.